Drum maps for eDrum and devices are designed to solve a couple of problems. First, they give a clear graphical representation of which sound an input is triggering. Second, they allow you to quickly reconfigure your device to trigger different hardware or software applications with as little fuss as possible. The drum map system works by assigning inputs to kit pieces rather than specifying the particular notes that an input should use. The eDrum then pulls the note assignments from the currently loaded drum map, shown here. By simply changing the current drum map, your device can be quickly set up to trigger different hardware or software applications. There are several factory drum maps included in the preset manager, but users can create their own as well. To create your own drum map, start by duplicating one of the factory maps, which makes a copy of it in your user drum maps. Now you can edit the notes that each kit piece will trigger. By default, the UI displays note names, but you can toggle between displaying note names and note numbers by right-clicking on a note, or selecting the option from the preference menu. The labels of the notes will change depending on the type of kit piece that is selected. For drum type kit pieces, you'll see hit, SS for side stick or cross stick, and RS for rim shot. For cymbal kit pieces, you'll see bow, edge, and bell, and for percussion type pieces, you'll see hit one, two, and three. If the pad that is assigned to a particular kit piece supports positional sensing, then POS represents the positional CC that it will use. For symbols, clicking on the POS label activates the choke with note feature. When this is on, the symbol sends a note on message when you grab the edge of the symbol and a note off message when you release it. This is in addition to the standard aftertouch messages which are sent regardless of the setting. You would only need to use this if the application or hardware you are triggering does not support aftertouch messages. For users with complex setups, a second page with an additional 16 kit pieces is available. The images for page 2 kit pieces, as well as the percussion pieces on page 1, can be user-defined by right-clicking and selecting a new kit piece image. Drag and drop is supported throughout the drum map editor. Note assignments can be copied from one kit piece to another. This also applies to hi-hat levels in the hi-hat section. You may also drag and drop from one drum map onto another. You can drag individual kit pieces or hi-hat levels, the entire collection of kit pieces, or the entire hi-hat section. When you are done editing a drum map, you need to save it and then double-click it to send it to your device. If you have more than one eDrum in connected to your system, you can enable the preference Send Maps to All Devices, which sends maps to all your eDrummins at the same time. For inputs that are configured as hi-hat symbols, the notes used depend on your hi-hat controller configuration. If using hi-hat levels mode, the notes are pulled from the hi-hat section of the drum map based on the position of your hi-hat controller. If using hi-hat CC mode, then the note assignments will be pulled from the hi-hat kit piece of the drum map. If you are updating from version 1.6 and wish to use drum maps, make sure you change the setting from Custom Notes to Hi-Hat Kit Piece.